Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to set up the set up the front end like I told you before. We're going to have the registration and the login connected. Okay, basically we do have a little bit of thing going on here already. You may notice that we have already set up this basic thing. Okay, this for the registration and then we are seeing what's going to happen. We're getting the data, we are not doing much of a thing with the data, right? So what we can do, we can say if data dot status we're basically saying yes status there was something wrong. So we need to first of all say constant set where is the underscore app here we have few things and type set and type we need to get set and type and set message set notification message I hope that's the what I called it yeah we need to get those two things I'm gonna say is equal to use Context. So I'm gonna have here notification context. And basically, just say set and type is going to be error. Set and message is going to be our data dot message. What do we get from the server? And our We want to have a username. Actually, not username. We want to do nothing else here. If this is not the case, we'll say just okay. Get return. If that's not that not, that's not the case, we basically want to do kind of like the same thing. Other than saying return, we'll just say yeah, do something like that. Success. We would say constant use router is equal to import router from next slash router and router. Okay, so here we can see uh, the three toggles. So constant router is called the root router function. And we will see that in a minute. What we want to do, we want to say just route it up push, push to home page. Let's not push the home page first because we need to see if everything is working correctly or not. We'll split the terminals, cd client, we go on dev. CD server, node mon, MongoDB compass, delete this one, local host, then we're gonna go to register page. Here we're gonna see what's gonna happen. For now, in the application, we have no tokens. In the application, we have nothing. Cookies are cookies are just basically empty. Okay, we are not able to type anything in the username. Mm -hmm. What's happening? So basically, the same. All the old values. And then name, get the name of the thing. Are we having the name? It's a name, yeah. Let's console log the value and the console log the name.
username oh my bad let me say username here so what we type here is going to show up okay we had wrong things going on okay never mind let me say Eldoni in the email when I have test editor nothing de when I click on sign up gmail.com okay this will not let us do something like that let's get an error first of all that will make the username smaller sign up response of json unexpected end of json Okay, they're making the call on the right on the wrong place. Local is five thousand. Sign up. Okay, username length must be at least five characters long. So yeah, they're just showing us the number. I'll pass what you show. Gmail.com. Password is going to be okay. Now do you want to see the application? Actually, we'll see in the network what's going to happen. Let's keep our network and application together. Sign up. User has been registered in the application. We have the refresh token, and that's a good thing. In here, we should get the access token also. Yep, we got the access token also. So that's good. Which means both ways we are going win win. Now, in the underscore app, we will create another thing. This as for the authentic, we'll create another context for the authentication. We're going to say uh, authentication context. Going to have a few more things. We're going to have a new state snip. First of all, we're going to have for the access token by default, going to be null. Then we'll have the uh, we just need the function to renew the uh, say renew. Renew token. I'm not sure if it's going to get anything or not, but uh, let's just say it's not going to get anything. It's going to be function for renewing the token stuff like that. So we're going to have constant authentication state. This is going to be access token set access token and uh, renew token. Authentication context dot writer value is going to be equal to over a state we wrap all of them around this thing. Okay, good. So here basically I can just say get authentication context. That access token the dot access token, we're gonna set it, and then there we go. We have set our access token in our memory. Data access token, right? Access token, so we are exactly just doing what we have to do. That's good.
so there we're saying yeah we have registered officially and then we have the access token so that means we are good to go when I say router to push it should just push us to the main page once we're logging in and we want to do something else also in the component folder for the network because here we are having some kind of you know profile and upload thing so it, it's only going to show up once if the user is logging in set D for So basically here we're gonna say in this below section if access token is there then we wanna show this otherwise we'll just show something empty. Or basically nothing. Okay, just the same thing. Same goes for this also. If access token and this. If uh, no access token is there, if there is not an access token, then we want to show them this. If there is access token, then we want to just show them what do we show them here? I guess nothing. Maybe something like you know his username. We'll save his username somewhere then. Um, should we save his name somewhere? Yeah, 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 yeah. That would be a good thing. Gonna have his name here. Maybe in the authentication section, gonna have in the underscore app. Use that. Step. Use a name. By default, going to be null. I have a username, set username, okay we need to go to the authentication register, access token and also, Not in this section, but in the login section. We need to say that username is going to be connected dot <coughs> username. Alrighty, let's go to the register dot six. We want to say set access token. Set username. Set username is going to be equal to values dot username. Maybe here we can have option for subscriptions. Username Uh username is not a good thing but never mind. Never mind. It's not going to be a link. No, it's not.
we're gonna have nothing there if the user is not logged in like normally we have for now let me delete this thing Eldani Eldani developer Eldani sign up okay user has been registered that's a good thing subscriptions and Eldani Eldani is my name nice. and we get to see this thing it's that kind of profile thing alright I was thinking to me so it's something cool okay so basically we're not going to have the season in here then we're going to have the season in Last name, margin uh, Y auto. Margin F one. Elder me. Name of the logged in user, right? That's good. So we have completed the authentication section. We need to uh, now set up the login section. Login is going to be pretty much the same thing. Okay. Login the JSX. Application login. Okay, I'm going to go to the register. Just copy this additional things that we got there. Paste them as follow. Go to register. Just copy these things. Go to login, paste these things, let's say context import, this import, this import, and there we go, we are good to go. Set so username. It's going to be data dot username. Because when you're logging in we don't know what's going to happen. So yeah, that's good. So we're saying we are logging in right now, okay? We're saying we are currently logged in. There's no issue with that. We even have the application token right there. So in here we should have one refresh token. Now let's suppose we are going to log in somewhere. Okay, here we're we gonna have a subscription in the log button. Okay, and the uh, logout button should take us to the slash logout page. Or rather than just taking us to the slash logout page, this is going to do what? It is going to clear the cookies. Okay, in the application, log out the JavaScript constant log out is going to be just take request with response. We're going to have respond dot clear cookie process dot enemy dot cookie refresh cookie name. We're going to have response dot send status two hundred dot send okay. Uh, modular exports is going to be logout. The modular export is going to be logout. Good imports. Let's say logout. And in the index page, if someone make a false request, or we like a get request. Too. Log out here should be logged out. Log out session. Well like a good thing. So we're gonna just copy the log out section thing. We're gonna go to the navbar in the log out. We're not gonna have actually a link. <clears throat> we're basically gonna have a kind of like a span thing going on. Um, click logout. 
constant logout is going to be a function is going to have a bash to slash of slash logout session so then we get the response we take the response as text so then once we get that thing also we're going to say uh on a, uh, I would say import user router and we just say constant router is going to be user router and we'll just say router dot push slash login page once we log it out alrighty I hope this thing works we'll refresh Register login. Why? Why they telling us register and login? Oh, I get, I get it. So by default, uh, the thing is by default, we are having here. Da -da 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 we just having something like yeah, access token. We just having here like access token set access token. By default, this is going to be no, right? So by default we're not going to have anything in our thing. So we need to call the renew token once our site opens, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the renew token we're gonna have a Okay, let's do a fetch slash open negation. New token. I thought it's going to be post. That's all we need. Okay, what we need? What else do we need? Radio token. What are we saying here? We're gonna send the message. Respond to this. Okay, maybe we need the headers. Content type application slash JSON. Constant response is it going to be await SMS function. Constant data is going to be await response.json and then we'll manage the data. So if data status it was not valid, then we, what we want to do. When I say here, constant use router is going to be not constant. Import use router is going to be from next slash router. I'm going to call it like constant router is going to be used for the use router function. And we'll say if this thing was incorrect, what we want to do, we want to say router.push. To login page. Or maybe just keep him on the same page, you just log it out. He can view the videos as a guest. Okay, we have that thing. We're clearing the cookies by ourselves, so yeah, that's an issue. Setting the cookie, do 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 access token. I'm gonna say return this thing. Otherwise, what we wanna do? Wanna say set access token is going to be called data dot access token and uh, username set username is going to be called data dot Username. Username is going to be equal to find user dot username. Let's just do this thing for now. And I'm gonna say yeah once running the things. I'm gonna say as a use effect thing. Did we import this? I guess so. 
So I'm going to call the user effect only one time, and we're going to call the renew token in that thing. I refresh my page, I see what happened. I was already logged in because I had the refresh token right there, right? We click on log out, okay, something happened with router. Oh, my bad, we cannot actually call it inside the thing. We need to go to notifi not actually notification, we need to go to navbar. Put it outside, let's do a refresh. Okay, it uh, just takes a little bit of time, but it's, uh, it's alright. Oh, we can do another thing. We don't need to wait for the user effect. We can just call this thing in as fast as we want to. Okay, renew token invalid URL. Okay, now once we try to call it, I think we should get an error. Okay, yeah, we do get to see an error because now we are talking on the server side of this uh, part, right? So maybe we can say TPT colon yeah, slash local host 5000 slash authentication. And we're going to have with credentials true. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh crap! I made a mistake. I just called it a thousand times. Okay, never mind. We we are doing the good thing already. I don't want to kill myself in a loop. Okay, so basically it's just working fine. Here, in the subscription, we have the logout. Just for the first time, because if he's going to navigate here and there, it's going to work fine. He clicks on logout. User router is not fine. What is Navbar doing? No, 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 no. I think it's inside the end. Where is not defined? Use router. Oh, inside the login login page. That means you just they just took us to the login page, right? By default we are on the current page. Okay, are we doing is just doing router to push somewhere? In this one? If data status is not defined. No, then do nothing, just return. We didn't need to Yes, you know, drag the user somewhere because he just he just be wherever he is. Okay, we have here we are have, uh, being here in the application. We don't have any token because it was deleted already. And let me see in the refresh token. We have one token right there. Mm -hmm, we do have one token. Oh, oh yeah, 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 my bad, my bad. Once we're trying to log out, okay, log out is not that much easy, easy thing. We need a few more things in log out section. We need the user and we need the JWT. Because we're logging out, so we need to clear the cookie from the token from the user, you know, from the database itself. Constant cookies equal to request dot cookies. If it's there is no cookie or there is no refresh token, that what you want to say. Maybe just return with this thing. Okay. Or if 
there was the refresh of any cookie then we want to just move ahead and say find user is going to be is equal to await user dot find one where refresh token is equal to cookie dot refresh token find there is a failure then we're gonna do what we do here JWT dot verify okay so that's for the hacker user thing this guy is trying to log out or if the user was found if the user was found we're gonna do something like this Return and just say find user dot refresh token is going to be equal to refresh token dot filter wherever the cookie that you this is the thing we want to remove that thing from the list and then we'll say await find user dot save so yeah that's how we remove this the the guy that guy's refresh token okay I still wonder if this thing will work but let's see anyway let's do Eldani Eldani developer Eldani let's just sign up user has been logged in we got the refresh token we have signed in officially I do a refresh I am here I click on log out it should basically delete my refresh token and everything should just disappear we are done okay this thing doesn't change didn't change they took us to the other page but they didn't update it okay, okay. But when we click on log out in the uh, in here I'm just clicking on log out they're just pushing the thing but they should not only push the thing I get the data. We'll say we want to do quite a few things. Set access token, username, set username, set access token to null, set uh, username to null and then we want to push the router so what happened here after they send to the client logout 22 mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh yeah, we're just trying to send two things basically. I just want to see something like this. Cool, let's do a refresh. We have nothing there. Nothing here. In the refresh token, we have nothing. Because the user is logged in nowhere. I'm going to create a new user. I'm going to say, Eldani. Eldorney developer 
Eldoni. Next to sign up. We are registered officially. If we have Eldoni, I click on logout. I should be logged out in here. If you don't nothing in the reference token, now let's click on login. Let's say Eldoni. Eldoni sign in. We are logged in basically. We have the Eldoni thing right there. We have this thing. I do refresh here in the refresh token. Now we should see. We have our token right there. Okay. We have this refresh token with the D08, which is D08, whatever we should have here. Yep, D08. That's good. That's good. So let's say we want to log in again. I'm just logging two times. Let me say sign in again. And nothing changed basically here. But if I do here, D08 was the ending, right? You can see K114. And here we should have also K114 in the end. Yeah, KL4. KL4. So yeah, that's the thing. We're logging in with updating the things and everything is going the way we want it to go. We have the username right there. We can change the username from the database for now. Later on in the future we'll just see what to do with other things. The name of the owner here, here we can have our, our name now. So well yeah, basically we have set it up most of the you know the basic authentication system for the user, uh to log in, log out, stuff like that, and for automatic renewing things. Access token, I'm going to say. Okay. Here, let's just say close the doors. I want to see if I'm just calling renew token for the first time, and I'm also having renew token in the A state, and that's good. So, well, guys, that was it for this video. In the next video, we are going to set up a system for uploading our video. So, next video is going to be pretty good. Alrighty, so we'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day, and see you.